We want to get back to that breaking news. A massive storage fire forces the full closure of the 10 freeway in downtown LA. The blaze was so intense, structural damage is now a concern. Let's go back to KTLA's Aaron Myers live in downtown LA with the very latest. Aaron. Good morning to you both. We know firefighters have been out here since very early this morning, just before 1230 is when that call came in. And at the height of this fire, there are about 160 plus firefighters here. And you can see several crews still out here. They are dealing with hot spots and flare ups, and they do expect to be out here for hours. I want to bring in David Ortiz with the Los Angeles City Fire Department to fill us in on everything that's happened. Now talk to me what, about what firefighters were dealing with when they got here. Well, when they arrived here, they had fire on both sides of 14th Street, which goes underneath the I-10 freeway. Um, the radiant heat that was coming off of this fire because of the amount of contents of materials that are stored underneath these freeway overpasses was uh, quite a bit. And the heat was menacing these buildings you see across the street here on the north side. So firefighters took a defensive posture, but the flames were very intense uh, to the point where you see some of the steel on the, um, on the guards the guardrails that are mounted. Um, firefighters mounted a very um, heroic defense against this fire. They saved these three buildings that they were looking to protect. Um, but the uh, the flame lengths were to the point where you can see steel is melted, concrete is falling, and the Caltrans engineers are out here waiting for us to put the fire out so they can go underneath the uh, bridge overpasses and check it for structural integrity. Uh, right now, we don't know whether these uh, roads are going to be able to be open anytime soon, but we expect to be here all morning. Now, I know there was an encampment under the underpass. Everyone was able to get out, though, correct? Yes, as far as we know, everybody got out without being injured. No injuries to firefighters, no injuries to civilians thus far. Uh, we continue to take a defense posture. We're using a, a firefighting robot to go in there and squirt water. We have an excavator, and we're trying to keep everybody out from being underneath these overpasses until they're deemed safe. And firefighters are all okay as well? Everybody is okay. Right. Well, I also want to bring in Roberto Gomez with the CHP to talk to us a little bit now about the closures, part of the 10 closed and surrounding areas is too. Fill us in on that. Correct, just to give you kind of a broader spectrum as to what's being closed down when you're talking about on the west side of this incident, which is on the downtown LA part. If you're coming out of downtown, 10 east at Alameda, everything's being diverted. If you're coming into downtown, the East LA interchange is completely being, uh, in a sense, not shut down, but diverted. So if you're coming on the 5 North to the 10 West, that's shut down. If you're coming on the 5 South to the 10 West, that's shut down. The 60 West into the 10 West is also shut down. So in a sense, the whole East, East LA interchange to Alameda is, in a sense, completely shut down. So the best thing right now, pretty much just to avoid the area, at least for the next 24 hours we're hearing? Correct. We're giving preliminary of 24 hours, um, so all alt alternates that you might want to take, and expect delays. So please be patient and please, uh, it's gonna be delayed for sure. Thank you so much for filling us in. And once again, firefighters do expect to be out here at least all morning, maybe into the afternoon. CHP now telling us the roadways are gonna be closed for at least the next 24 hours. Reporting live here in downtown, I'm Erin Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Yeah, important information because that would take us into the uh, commute tomorrow. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a long time, Erin, thanks.